This week, negotiators will gather to discuss remaining issues relating to the enhanced transparency framework, which is one of the key components of the Paris Agreement. The ETF is a, a new climate reporting and review system uh, aimed at building trust and confidence among parties. The first round of, uh, of the national reports called biannual transparency reports needs to be submitted by the end of 2024 and then every two years. So uh, a complete ETF is urgently needed for the UN Climate Convention to start preparing templates and design and deliver the review training and for countries to have clarity on the type and format of the information required and also time to prepare the reports. So it is critical that countries advance their discussions on all of the remaining issues and to do it in a balanced way. Up to now, countries have been focusing more on the reporting tables and formats with the risk of overlooking the review process. And the review process is key to improve reporting and implementation and as a consequence to increase climate ambition. Based on the current review processes, we identified three future implementation challenges that could inform the, the current negotiation process. First, the limited number of experts. Estimates suggest that the number of qualified experts needs to triple to respond to the first round of submissions. New review sections. So the ETF includes new reporting requirements, especially for developing countries. So new requirements means that the additional expertise will be needed within the review teams. And then the need for more effective training. Almost all current review training programs are online, self-paced, without instructors. And the evidence shows that this uh, current format hampers vulnerable countries' participations and their ability to pass the exams. During the upcoming negotiation sessions, delegates should consider the implementation challenges ahead and aim for an integrated approach as a report and review are deeply interlinked, designing a solid reporting tables and formats and clear reporting outlines will facilitate the review work. A more inclusive process so to expand the pool of review experts, especially from developing countries, it is vital to design a training program that consider their needs. And this can be done by giving the consultative group of experts a key role in the design and implementation of the program. And Finally, adequate and sufficient support. Developed countries should provide enough financial support to design and implement a training program at the scale that is needed and also responsive to developing countries' needs. There are only three years left to build the technical infrastructure and have the ETF fully operational. We are running out of time and delegates should finalize as soon as possible all these remaining issues.